वेलकम माय डियर फ्रेंड्स माय सेल्फ प्रोफेसर डॉक्टर राजेंद्र देश पांडे वुड लाइक टू वेलकम यू ऑल इन दिस इंटरेस्टिंग वीडियो द नेम ऑफ द डिसीज इज एंथ्रैक्स यस 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 आई नो दैट डिसीज नॉट एट ऑल ए कॉमन डिसीज इन मेडिकल जनरल प्रैक्टिस दिस इज वेरी रेयर बट ऑफकोर्स दिस इज ए सीरियस डिसीज let us talk about anthrax myself professor dr rajendra deshpande would like to welcome you all in my youtube channel ayurveda academy i am md in ayurvedic medicine and md in ayurvedic physiology for paid online consultation and paid online classes you can whatsapp me definitely on 9226810630 you will find this particular video in the playlist kaya chikitsa and internal medicine as you know everybody that i am working for the medical students medical professors medical doctors as well as for the patients and the common man so my ayurveda academy youtube channel is for everybody let us start to discuss about kaya chikitsa subject this is the subject from fourth year bams bams students this is kai chikitsa lecture about anthrax so let us start about anthrax fourth year bms ccim syllabus center council of indian medicine paper 1 kai chikitsa paper 1 part b point number 1 i am sorry this is printing mistake this is not diseases of rectum and anal canal this is about the fever if you don't mind i can try for correct this particular thing okay so if you allow me let us have the correction here okay this is regarding the fever so just give me the few minutes yes this is corrected and this is saved as well and now i am going again back to the powerpoint presentation so this is the topic from the fever the subject is kai chikitsa fourth year bms what is anthrax anthrax is a rare but serious illness caused by a spore forming bacterium that is bacillus anthracis so this is a bacterial infection serious infection anthrax mainly affects the animals livestock and wild game humans can become infected humans definitely we are bothering about the you and me it does anthrax first to the animals and then comes to the human being this is direct or indirect contact with sick animals but the origin is in the animals anthrax transmission there is no evidence that anthrax can be transmitted from me to you or you to me from person to person it is not possible it is possible that anthrax skin lesions may be contagious through the direct contact otherwise your uh, respiration your anything contact will not affect but if you have the very infected wound then wound to wound that can be possible usually anthrax bacteria enter the human body through a wound in the skin so you must be careful if you have by chance any wounds in your body be careful infection may occur eating also this is another source eating contaminated meat or inherits the spores do you understand so there are three sources through the infected wound number 1 by eating contaminated meat number 2 and number 3 inhaling the spores can you see here biting fly from the infected animal this is the animal okay vegetative forms animal decomposition okay then inhalation ingestion anthrax spores through the cutaneous or through inhalation can you see very interesting huh? then this is cutaneous transmission this is cycle this is called as a cycle of anthrax so how the anthrax comes from animal to the human being now next signs and symptoms clinical features depends on the severity of infection this can be from simple skin sore to ah vomiting or unconsciousness to the shock so mild moderate and severe symptoms can occur simple skin problem then there may be digestive problem like vomiting or there may be shock unconscious prompt treatment with antibiotics can cure 
most of the anthrax infection so this is not at all a fatal if it is treated very pro quickly promptly with proper antibiotics remember this thing so this is curable disease but it will be difficult inhaled anthrax is more difficult to treat and can be fatal because it is affecting lungs and you know cardiopulmonary this unit is very important so by chance if you inhale and then pneumonia and all this lung complication that can be dangerous severe antibiotic should be used there are four common routes of anthrax infection different signs different symptoms for each route in most cases symptoms develop within 7 days after exposure to the bacteria my dear friend this is asked in the oral and viva what is the incubation period of anthrax so what will be the answer 7 days so you proper history you will have to ask the patient whether you had in the past some problem 8 days back contact with the animals infected wounds etc etc the one exception is inhalation anthrax which may take weeks after exposure before symptoms appear so it can be long incubation period if it is only inhaled like this okay after many weeks the symptoms will start cutaneous anthrax first type the cutaneous skin a cutaneous anthrax infection enters body through a cut or other sore on the skin so you must be careful about your body wounds if you want to prevent it the anthrax infection it is far the most common route the disease takes place so must be careful it is also the mildest this is mildest form with appropriate treatment cutaneous anthrax is very very rarely fatal no problem don't worry be happy okay cutaneous anthrax clinical feature a raised raised itchy hmm? bump resembling an insect bite as if it is like insect bite a quickly develops into painless sore with a black center very interesting huh? painless wound but black black center swelling in the sore and nearby lymph gland lymphadenopathy lymphadenitis will be there now next second type anthrax gastrointestinal anthrax gi tract this form of anthrax infection begins after eating under a cooked meat from an infected animal so what can be the symptoms of course with the digestive system nausea vomiting pain in the abdomen headache loss of appetite fever and severe bloody diarrhea blood 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 loose motions in the later stage of disease sore throat and difficult in swallowing and swollen neck this can occur third third type inhalation or pulmonary anthrax first wound second gi tract third lungs okay inhalation anthrax develop when person breathe in anthrax pores it is the most serious type even the treatment after giving you also treatment the patient can die okay pulmonary anthrax clinical features flu like symptom like sore throat mild fever fatigue muscle aches in the last few hours or days mild chest discomfort lung problem shortness breathless nausea hemoptysis and dysphagia difficulty in deglutition as the disease progress the patient may experience very very high fever oh my god dyspnea <laughs> breathlessness unconscious shock meningitis and multiple organ failure kidney fail heart fail brain fail liver fail okay injection anthrax fourth type this is the most recently identified route of anthrax infection it is contracted to the injecting illegal drugs drug addicts and has been reported only in the europe so far initial signs and symptoms of injection anthrax include redness at the area of injection and there will be significant swelling anthrax causes 
Anthrax spores are formed by anthrax bacteria that occur mainly in the soil in most parts of the world. The spores can remain dormant, no problem, for years until they find their way to enter into the human being. Who is the host? Human being. Common host for anthrax include wild or domestic livestock, that is animals such as sheep, cattle, horses, and goats. These animals are more susceptible to get infection of anthrax. Again, repeat, sheep, cattle, horses, and goats. Geographical distribution, rare in the America. Common throughout the developing world, such as the Iran, Iraq, Turkey, Pakistan, and sub-Saharian Africa country. Most common causes of anthrax occur as a result of exposure to the infected animals or their meat or hides. In the United States, a few people have developed anthrax while making traditional African drums from the skin of infected animals. Injection anthrax. More recently, 54 heroin users in Europe contracted anthrax through injecting illegal drugs, drug addicts. 18 people died from injectable anthrax. Heroin sold in the Europe likely comes from areas where naturally occurring anthrax is more common. Risk factor, direct contact with the anthrax. Occupation of a person is in the military or to an area where high risk of exposure to the anthrax. Work with anthrax in a laboratory settings. Handling animal skins, fur, wool from areas with a high incidence of anthrax. Work in veterinary medicine, especially if you deal with the livestock. Handle or dress game animals. In the United States, seasonal outbreaks of anthrax are common among the livestock and game animals such as the deer. Inject illegal drugs such as the heroin. Anthrax complications, hemorrhagic meningitis, inflammation of the meninges. And what are the meninges? Coverings of the brain, right? Test, skin testing. A sample of fluid from a susceptible lesion on your skin or biopsy may be tested in a lab for signs of cutaneous anthrax. Blood test for anthrax bacteria. Test X-ray or CT scan to check the inhalations, pulmonary lung anthrax. Stool testing for anthrax bacteria is done to diagnose GI, gastrointestinal tract anthrax. CSF, cerebrospinal fluid examination to confirm a diagnosis of anthrax meningitis. Treatment, the standard treatment for anthrax is a 60 day, oh my God, two months. Antibiotics such as the ciprofloxacin or doxy-1, doxycycline. Treatment is most effective when started as early as possible. Some cases of injection anthrax were successfully treated with surgical removal of infected tissue. Anthrax vaccine for human is now available. The vaccine does not contain live bacteria. Side effects ranging from soreness at the injection site to the more serious allergic reactions. The vaccine is not recommended for children, nor for adults. The vaccine is not intended for the general public. Instead, it is reserved for the military personnel, scientists working with the anthrax, and people in other high-risk professions, like veterinary department. Prevention, avoiding infected animals. If person lives or travel in a country, where anthrax is common and herd animals are not routinely vaccinated, avoid contact with the livestock and animal skins as much as possible. Also, avoid eating meat that has not been properly cooked. Even in the developed countries, it's important to handle any dead animal with care and to take precautions when working with or processing imported hides, fur, or wool. So this is all about the Kai Chikitsa lecture for fourth year BMS, according to CCM syllabus, paper one, part B, point number one. Let me correct once again. Give me very small time, okay? 
my dear friends i would like to correct with your witness this can happen this can happen this is a human error so here i will write what i should write fever this is the topic fever this also i will correct it no problem just excuse me for this mistake okay so i think this is everything is clear now kai chikitsa lecture fourth year bms ccm syllabus paper 1 part b point 1 and the fever okay this is the topic anthrax next i will go for the powerpoint presentation yes next this is educational lecture so always there disclaimer vaidhanik ishara kaun si bhi bimari mein yatha avashyak yatha kal vaidya ki salah lena bahut hi zarurat hai if you are suffering from cerebral palsy arthritis motor neuron disease cancer attention deficit hyperactive disorder in the children idiopathic thrombocytopenic purpura itp or such type of any chronic disease or autoimmune diseases please don't hesitate to contact my ayurveda academy with lot of doctors and teachers i welcome you all whatsapp me not the phone call please on whatsapp 9226810630 my dear friends if you like this lecture i am sure this is according to syllabus fourth year bm students kindly attention your lecture hear it again and again and you will get perfect marks in the saq of anthrax okay so please like this video share this video and don't forget holding my hands to subscribe my youtube channel i wish all the best and take care sarve pisukena santu sarve santu niramayah all the best to you my dear friend